Hey guys, it's Jane here from Laser Gaming. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the light tank in Battlefield 1. So this is, in my opinion, the best tank that's in the game, but I'll have videos in the future covering the two other tanks we have access to right now in the closed alpha. But this specific tank is the French FT-17. This is basically the first modern tank, or really the what lay the tracks for the modern tanks that we have today. So the reason it's like that is because it has a 360 degree turret on top that can turn all the way around where most of the other tanks don't have a rotating turret. They can only shoot on about a 60 degree plane or 60 degree field of view, whereas this one can shoot on all 360 degrees and hit anywhere, which makes it really good. Um, how uh, DICE actually didn't make this overpowered, it's a really good tank in my opinion, but it's a bit more balanced because it does a lot less damage. However, this tank, because it moves fast, and able to turn all the way around, it can absolutely wreck infantry, in my opinion. So, this tank has the primary gun, or the primary tank shell, primary heavy weapon that'll do heavy damage to vehicles, and great slash damage to infantry, surprisingly. Because it also has a secondary shot that will do good damage to infantry, that's kind of like a shotgun, but I feel like that's not really worth using, because the primary shot is so good at taking out infantry because if you get it within two meters of an infantry player it will usually take them out due to splash damage. You can also drop gas grenades out of the back of the tank which is extremely useful if infantry are crowding you you can just get them off of you or basically limit their ability to see and just overall confuse them and maybe make an escape because it's hard to see people through gas a lot of the time. And lastly, you can also self-repair in this tank. Now, this is a really interesting mechanic that we haven't had in any other Battlefield games. And basically what it is, is if you hold down on the D-pad on console, you'll start self-repairing your tank. It takes about 4 to 5 seconds to heal 20, um, basically, percent of your health. But the drawback is, is if you get hit once while you're repairing or auto-repairing, you'll lose all of it. So... If I'm repairing and I'm three quarters of the way done the repair and I get hit, I'll go back to 0% done. And this won't take away any of my health except for the specific health that that damage does. So if I get hit by another tank, it'll probably take 20 damage away and make me reset the repair. But if I get hit by something like an infantry grenade, it'll only take away like three damage, but it still makes you restart the repairing process. And I was talking to someone about the game and they basically said that you just can't let tanks out of your sight because even if you've done a ton of damage to a tank you have to keep it in your sight because if you let it go away you can get behind cover and all the way self repair so you have to continue to bombard the tank with what you can and not give it an opportunity to self repair however if you're a good tank driver you can often escape out of the way get behind cover and self repair really choosing your times to self repair is one of the best strategies for this so if you just get hit by an enemy tank enemy shell you want to self repair instantly and try to strafe so they maybe take that extra second while their shots reloading you can get that 20 health back now the problem is is you can't shoot while you're self repairing or moving so there are drawbacks obviously and the other way to repair your tank is on the tank class it has the C96 carbine a pistol but it also has a hammer which you can constantly repair your tank and this won't get reset if your tank takes damage because technically you're not inside the tank so this is more like the repair torch that we've had in previous battlefield games you'll just go around hitting your tank and eventually it'll repair the process i believe is slightly slower however the benefit is is that your tanks repairing won't get reset if you take any incoming damage uh, the anti-tank class also has an anti-tank grenade, or two of them, like the assault class, which is really useful if you just want to pop out of your tank, or if your tank dies and an enemy tank just has a little bit of health left, you can take it out with that extra bit of damage from that anti-tank rifle. Now, while tanks seem like they're overpowered in this, as I go on a pretty long kill streak against infantry here, Basically, if you have two or three coordinated assault players, they can absolutely demolish and overwhelm a tank. I mean, it's hard for a singular assault player to take out a tank because if it throws an anti-tank grenade at it, and even if it misses, the infantry player misses one anti-tank grenade, I'm pretty sure you can't take out the tank, which sucks. But if you have multiple infantry players, they'll have more than enough resources to be able to take out the tank. And keep in mind that we also don't have dynamite in the game yet, which will be devastating for a lot of the tanks. 
I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like down below for this tank gameplay from the Battlefield 1 Close Alpha. Don't forget to subscribe down below to stay tuned for much more tanking gameplay of the various other tanks that are in the game. I'm currently just playing around with this tank a lot because it is my favorite, but I'll try to get some gameplay with the other tanks. I'll leave you guys with the, the rest of the gameplay. I believe there's only like 40 seconds left or so, but I'll leave you with it. But that's what it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.